Hello everybody, Goodman Review Surplus here, and today I want to show you all a post-World War I British canteen. Now, before I show the canteen off a little bit, I want to apologize for missing the upload last week, as I've been busy with a lot of things, trying to sort some stuff out, and I hope you all can forgive me. I do have a special video coming up this weekend, so hopefully you all will enjoy that, but now let's get into the canteen itself. So as far as my knowledge goes on this canteen, I believe it to be a post-World War I. That means after World War I was over, this one came out. Now, the reason why I believe this is because I've never seen one with this blue uh, sort of cover on it. I've seen a few of them. Um, I saw one other one on a website, and it said it was a Canadian canteen from World War II, which makes me unsure. Most of the World War I British canteens are in more of a grayish green or a, like, Sort of a color like the World War I U.S. uniform or the World War I British uniform. Also, this little notch right here where this would be tied onto with a string is usually on, you know, the side, like right here or right here. Haven't looked at a World War I British canteen in a while, so I don't know the exact spot, uh, you know, placing of it. But I do know that that would normally be on the side for a World War I British canteen. So I didn't pay too much for this canteen just to minimize the risk if it is a post-World War I canteen or it's not even... Uh, World War One. it's more of a World War II canteen. I've seen one other listing and it listed it as a Canadian canteen, but I can't get a straightforward answer as most people when I see them list these, they list them as World War I British or World War II Canadian. Now, the thing with the World War I British ones is this little, uh, I guess, loop right here is usually on the side here. Now, what that's meant to do is for the cork, it would tie around that little loop and that keeps, uh, and there's a string, basically, and it keeps it on there. But that's about all I know about the World War I British canteens. I also know the leather strapping system, if you can find them with that, will have markings on them. But other than that, I am pretty sure that this is a post-war canteen. I've had this canteen for a good month or two now, and I still haven't been able to figure out exactly what it is. I think it's an interwar model, meaning post-World War I and pre-World War II, so sort of a in-between variant of the World War I British Canteen and the World War II British Canteen. Um, I think this might just be a, you know, sort of transitional one that led up to us getting the World War II one. But if you have any information on it, let me know. One last thing about this canteen is, as you can see, all this stitch work is pretty fine, and it looks industrialized, as you can see. It looks very clean, but then when you get up to the top, it looks like as if, as if it's a very rough stitch, meaning very, uh, and it was done very quick, as you can see, it's really rough around the edges it also has uh some stuff like that on it but i um i'm still pretty sure this is a um interwar canteen not a world war one or world war two i believe that it's somewhere in the 20s through 30s era if you have any information on this canteen uh that i was not able to find please do let me know but i will see you in the next one and happy collecting